Okay guys, so now let me go ahead and show you the iPod Touch 4th Generation's Retina display. Uh, now, I'm going to just start with this by saying that my camera, or well, any camera really can't pick it up. Um, it is way too high resolution, but I can't at least show you how clear stuff is. Um, so, just on the screen here, you know, it, it looks much, much better, especially you can see it in the text. Um, the icons look a, lo a lot richer. And again, it's really hard to display um, or show you through the camera. Um, really to get the full effect of the retina display and see how high resolution, how crisp and clear everything is, I do recommend guys go ahead, maybe go to your Apple store or something like that and find either an iPhone 4 or an iPod Touch. Um, as far as just looking at them straight up, they do look pretty much the same. There's slight differences, but honestly, not a big deal. You will get the effect. So it's a, definitely a big step up, especially from like the old iPod Touch and the iPhone. So here you go guys, this is um, about the best I can show you as far as the retina display. and. As you can kind of see, hopefully, the text is tiny, tiny, tiny. I mean, this is, look, that's the size of my finger, okay? My finger t covers that up. So, hopefully, you can get a sense of just how small this text is. However, with the Retina display, it is entirely readable, um, which is really, really impressive, as on the iPod Touch 2nd generation, it's all just blurry. It's all, I mean, you can't read anything. It's just, you know, maybe you can make out what the stuff in bold. But other than that, it's totally unusable. Whereas on the iPod Touch, I don't even need to zoom in. I can read all of this straight from the display is really really great um, so just to kind of give you guys just a sense of I mean let me go ahead and just zoom out a little bit I mean that is how that's just the three and a half inch screen and, and basically this website's meant to be viewed on maybe like you know a 20 inch monitor maybe a little bit smaller than that but just kind of just show you how clear it is um, I'm very very impressed with the retina display uh, I will say the viewing angles aren't perfect as you can see it guys kind of get washed out uh, when you kind of do get it t tilted to the side and stuff there you, you guys can see it pretty well there. Um, and that is because the uh, iPod Touch does not have the IPS technology that's in the iPhone 4. So as far as viewing angles go, it is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit less than the iPhone 4. But really, 99% of the time, you're not really going to be paying attention to it. You're going to be looking at it fairly close to straight on. As you can see here, I mean, you do have decent viewing angles. So guys, on the whole, very, very impressed with the Retina display. One of my favorite things in the iPhone, I mean, rather the iPod Touch 4th generation.